hello everyone welcome to today's video in this video i will show you how to create a fillable form that will have borders around your form field so that users can add multiple paragraphs of text within the form or within the box this can also go into multiple pages of the form the information at the bottom or within the form expands as users complete the form all right so if you look into this um normal um word document that i have here you will notice that i inserted a table which is easy to do and then i have keyed in areas that are required for users to fill in like full names date enter date place course and um motivation for applying so this is basically like an application form and in this section motivation for applying like i showed i did show you in my previous video to create a form or a fillable form you need to go to the developers tab so here i am in the developers tab as you can see there i'll go straight to the controls group and i want to key in the plain test content control in each of the required areas so i'll click on that then i'll click in the date section i'm using plain test content control so i'll just go ahead and insect put a little space there and here the motivation for applying i'm going to put the plain test content control field all right so now that i have entered form fields in all required areas I need to make sure that users can enter their motivation for applying for a course in the description box provided. All right. And they can use more paragraphs to complete the form. In doing this, it stays within the table and the borders around the table will stay around the form fields. Okay, so let's get to the focus of this video. To do this, the section where you have motivation for applying, double click the form field. Now go to the controls group, click on the design mode, click on properties. Now a dialog, bo a dialog box comes out, content control properties. Move downwards where you have plain test properties. Make sure you put a tick where you have allow carriage returns, multiple paragraphs, and then click on the OK button. So now I'm going to get out of design mode by clicking on it from the controls group. So I'll click on the design mode. All right. I'm going to go to the protect section and click on the restrict so that users cannot modify the form content. So to do that, I'm going to place, go to the number two. This is how you're going to find it by default. Editing restrictions, you place a tick on that section and then this drop down menu there are several things there tracked changes comments and all of that the filling in forms is the most important one so i'll click on that filling in forms now I'll go to number three and click on the yes start enforcing protection all right so another dialog box comes out i am fine where you can key in passwords if you want but i'm going to leave it as it is and click on the ok so i'll put i'll close this section now the form is ready i can send this form out to users to complete this form so here i'm going to test out this form by creating or generating random test so over here you would see the symbol here which is rand equal equal sign rand then i open the bracket so this is for me to generate a random test that I can key in in that form field. So here I will put in eight comma, eight meaning the number of paragraphs that I want to see. And then eight there also means number of sentences I like to see in the random test generated. So by doing this, I'll press the enter key on my keyboard you can see I have generated random test here. So I'm gonna copy this um, generated test and paste into the form I have created, all right? So I'll just copy this, 
that this is two pages which is okay for me all right so i'll just do this short cut format ctrl a and ctrl c, ctrl c and that's it here i am in the form i'm just gonna tap here and press ctrl v all right so you can see here that the form expands down to multiple pages you can see that section all right so if i scroll through you would see all right so the information at the bottom of the form expands down as user completes the form all right and then still this um phrase here is still there thank you for applying so the user can as well go ahead and edit it by putting um spaces as they deem fit so i'm just gonna do that and show you how it looks like all right so doesn't this look amazing why i scroll through i'm sure you notice that the form fields expand to accommodate multiple paragraphs this is quite amazing all right so i'm going to stop the video here if you found this video interesting you should click the like button and also subscribe for more tech tips like this do not forget to drop comments in the comment section below and i'll be there to answer more questions if you need me to do any video please kindly drop also in the comment section before below and i'm gonna be there to try to answer all your questions and i'll see you in my next video for more tech tips like this bye